Oh, well, I'm, I'm going to be showing y'all. I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of my new Mahano freight, car, freight cars and caboots in a passenger car. Like, comment, and subscribe. And give me just a minute on unboxing. Just a bit. as much as I, I don't have. Well, actually, I can show it. Just gotta watch for the. There we go. I got it. This is from. Well, I'm not going to show you where it's, but I know the web. Well, the website's from Trains, which I can find. Let me. Also, I've torn off the label thing. Label thing. And you get this on. Here, let me just. I think I want to make sure there's no more. Okay, there's not. Set the box over there. Here. Sit. Here. Um, let me go ahead and open up the pet, the um, things. Off the um, well, not well, because it's it's hard for me to hold the phone and do this. Also, i um, tomorrow. I know said I said today I was going to do the running my new trains, which I'm still going to do, but I decided to do a new unboxing. Something change a little bit. Something change a little bit instead of just running. Well. Just doing a train, running my train, new train video. I'll do unboxing. Alright. Alright, give me just a minute. I got it up. Okay. Let's see what we got. See what we got in the, in the bubble wrap. Let me just get it open. open. Just give me a minute. Some of these are some of these are actually old 1800s. All right, which one should I go first? Well, actually, I should go for, hmm, well, okay, on the first, oh, here's the, okay, I'm going to do the passenger car. Here is the Southern Railway, hold on, let me do it, here is the Southern Railway 1800s passenger car. I don't know if y'all can see that properly. From the Charlotte. I think. I think. Okay. I think this passenger car was given the name Charlotte. I believe. I'm not really sure. I mean. It should. But this number on it is. Let me see it. 12. 12 right there. This is from the Southern Railway. Here's the this side. Here's the front. Yeah, front. Yeah, front. I I don't know which way is the front. Here's the other side.
Oke. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 I'm not gonna ask. I think this is a regular passenger car, but because of this, it's hard to, to you know, I think it's just, yeah, it's a regular passenger car. Excuse me. Sorry. And here's the back. Here is the roof of the passenger car. Here's the underside of it. Also, here are the couplings. They're, well, I should say they're Bachman couplings. Anyway, on to the next, on to the next freight, well, actual freight car. Here is, ooh, this. An old, it's an 1800 skeleton, well, log car from the 1800s. And it's got actual locks on it. That's very cool. Very cool. I do own an 1800s locomotive, which I am going to use to haul this train or one of the southern, one of, well, one of the newer locomotives. I might do that. But anyway, here's this, here's the logs. Well, you can see the logs. Here's what the, it's a flat car. Wait a minute. That has rails on it. What? <laughs> That's confusing, even though this is a logging car. From the 1800s. Yeah, it's got rails on it. That is actually... Interesting, I should say. I mean, I'm not that surprised. I mean, I've seen weirder model trains. But anyway, here's this. He, there's not. Here's what the sides, the front, I should say, the front. Still got the same coupling. Here's this side. The back side, well, this side, the end. In that side. Oh, and in here are the wheels. The axle wheels. Very cool. Hold on, let me straighten out the wood. This is actually, I believe, real wood. Interesting. I just gotta straighten out the wood. There we go. Alright, on to the next thing. Here is a Delaware in Hudson. Hopper coal car, hopper car, coal hopper car, well hopper car, I should say. This one is number six one eight zero. It it it's that the it's a well you can see it's a coal car because it's coal. But anyway, here is. This side of it, I, I then this end, this part, then this, the front of it, or whichever side you want to go for it. Here's, it's also got the same coupling. Here's the other side of it. And here is the, um, other side of it. And here is the axles. The axle wheels. Very nice. I actually want I don't actually I own a Delaware nuts and crane. But I oh, want I'll say you y'all yes, this is an eighteen hundreds logging caboose. I believe that's what it is. Bright, bright caboose. It is actually met beautiful. This is my first time actually owning an 1800s logging caboose. 
but here's this side. Uh, it's here's this side of it. Move my finger. Here's this side. This side. And then this side. And also here's the top of it. Sorry for poor camera camera angle. I should do it like this. And here's the bottom of it. Not gonna lie, it does remind me of the narrow gauge cabooses. Cabooses. It does remind me of them. And here are the cup here's the coupling. Same as the the passenger car, the lot eighteen hundreds logging log car, well log flatbed and the hopper car. It is very actually interesting. Alright, on to the next um bubble wrap um bu bubble wrap. I am still gonna do the um right of my new trains I'm still going to do that I'm probably going to do it tomorrow because today I don't feel like doing it and plus I would I wanted to go in and do my first unboxing video but definitely tomorrow I will do the promise I made show my new locomotives and I'll do the where the I'll and new pa and new passenger car but I'm not I'm not gonna say what trains I two trains I got or the passenger car I did I did got an extra set of track to run on to run on so opposite trains can go through like that you know what I mean y'all know what I mean let me real quick get this open instead of me blabbering about everything let me go ahead and get this open if I can get the tape off my hand <laughs> but anyway okay. this might take me a little bit while don't worry I'm trying to there we go I should do it okay this might be hard enough Let's do it like this. I add some of it. I'm still trying to get it. There we go. I got it. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I think. Okay, um, I think I should start with this Southern, Southern Railway flat car with bulldozers on it. That is cool. I actually like that. The number of this flat car is 51083. Here's this side. It, here are the bulldozers. There's four of them. I think... No, those are not bulldozers. I don't know when... Are these mine? No, these are mining. These are... I, I don't know what these are, actually. Oof. I don't know. Then again, these are supposed to resemble 1900s equipped vehicles. I don't know much about the 1800s vehicles, but they look cool. 
or these could be generators or mining gener miner mining machines or something. I don't know. Anyway, here's this side of it. It's still got that coupling, though of course the thing it's on the back. Let me fix that. All right, there we go. There we go. I fixed it. I should do it. Well, these look absolutely magnificent. I have never seen these type of machinery before. Then again, these are 1900s. And, oh, there's some extra chains. That, probably, that came loose. I'll see what I can do to fix them. I mean, it's fine. But there are the chains. Anyway, also oh, here's this side. This side. I don't think that's and oh, oh no. It's hard to turn because this black card is very long. Also I need to fix the chains, which I'll do in a little bit once I'm done recording. Here are the here's the top. And here is the bottom. It is a long flat car. It is a very long flat car. Oh, someone glued the chain. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. Oh well. I mean, it can't be helped. Now, this. This one is a tall one. This is core wood. I I'm not sure what this. No, that's not what it is. I don't know what it. I don't. I'm not sure what type of car this. What type? I know it's a like. I've seen these types. I mean, these are meant for like reefer, like not reefer, but um, contain containers. Here's this side. No, and what it also is from the Southern Railway. Here's the number three 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 two six eight from the Southern Railway. Here's this side, this side, this side. Sorry if you can't, and this side. Here's the top. These absolutely look fantastic. I am baffled at what I chose. And here's the bottom. And also it's still got the same coupling. Now on to the last. On to the last flat car. Here is a Santa Fe black car. I'm not sure what this is supposed to go to. Maybe I'll... I'm not really sure. Maybe a crane. Something. It looks like it belongs to a crane. But anyway, here's what it looks like. Oh, the number of it is 97143. Here's this side, this side, this side, and this side. And also here's the bottom and top. And that's all of the rolling stock. Well, new rolling stock and passenger car. Now, I don't know how these will function with my Bachman trains, but I do got some Mahano train, like, Mahano trains, even a new one, well, actually, two new ones, I'm still, which they should actually, which they, it should connect, thank y'all for watching, I'll, I'll, 
but well, before I, um, before I, well, stop, well, be done with the video, I won't, I, I'm going to still promise y'all the video that I was promising today, but I'm not feeling that well, because I got a COVID, well, not COVID shot, but a flu shot, and it's a Coco Spaniel, Coco, something like that. I don't know what it is. Another shot that I had to take, I had twice, and then the flu shot, and it's just been making me sleepy. But I decided to do a little bit of an unboxing video, something that's a little bit easy. And so that I've been, and I also promised y'all that I will do an unboxing video. But thank y'all for watching, and for and tomorrow you will see these running, well being pulled by the two, one of the newer locomotives. Thank y'all for watching, and bye.